Hello everyone, it is Maya aka Based Artist and for today's video I'm just going to be sharing a couple of artist tips with you guys. So these are just a few things that I have learned over the past few years and that I think would be really important and helpful to share with you guys. So we're just going to jump right into it. So my very first tip is to start early and this is something that I've really regretted at this point in my life because especially as it pertains to YouTube like I've wanted to make an art YouTube channel for so 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 long but then like like there's always been these things that have held me back like the fear of not being good enough or like this idea that I don't know it won't be popular that it's like a waste of my time and if I had just started earlier like all those things wouldn't have even mattered because I feel like even if you feel that you aren't maybe where you want to be even if you just start you're still gaining traction, you're still gaining followers, you're still making connections with people and you're still putting yourself out there and you're still learning, which is very important. And I feel like oftentimes it's just a psychological block. Like you feel a lot worse than you are inside and so you say like, oh no, I'll stop, I'll wait till later to do this. And it's something for me that I do all the time. Um, especially like if I have like this really good idea or something, I'll be like, no, like I'll wait until I'm better and then I'll draw it. But that's pretty stupid, I feel like, because when am I ever going to feel like I'm good enough, you know? And so I think it's better to just start and to just do you and make your mistakes. Like, don't be afraid. Like, being bad shouldn't be a fear that holds you back. I mean, you should go out there, guns a blazing, grow yourself, all that stuff. So my very first tip of advice is to start early Basically, just start at all. Start every time, as soon as you have the idea, you need to just go for it and start. My second tip is to always find time for what you enjoy. Um, I unfortunately have to have a job, not an art job, not a fun job. It's a McDonald's job, actually. And um, on the days that I'm working, it's really hard to find time to draw. And so I make time. I draw on my break and if I'm feeling kind of bad that day, I draw because like like I said, I work in McDonald's, right? And the person in the back drive through the person that takes your money when you're going through the drive through they had me do that a lot. And if somebody doesn't want their receipt, like when it prints out, I'll like doodle on it or whatever, like I'll bring like a pencil or something and I'll draw on it. It's something that you guys will see in my sketchbook tour when it comes up. But I've been trying to be really good about finding and making time for art because it's something that I love and that I enjoy and I feel like depending on your situations in life it can be harder or easier to have time for your passions but if it's important to you I think that you should always try your hardest to find a way to make time. Okay so my third tip is to not work for free. Now this is honestly the most important tip that I can give you. Like I have been messed up so many times by people that have not paid me to do anything like I had this one girl come to me on tumblr talking about how like oh um do you want to do this album cover for me and you have to do it today tonight well actually it didn't even work like that she asked for help and I decided that like okay I'm gonna try to help you and so I did that I sketched what she wanted me to draw I spent maybe like two hours on it she seen it and she was like oh yikes, I don't really like this. And then I messaged her again and I was like, oh, okay, well, what do you want to do? Do you want me to redo it because I can fix it? Or do you just want to go with somebody else? And she didn't even reply at all. I was, I was pretty pissed because after three hours of working and trying to present myself as professional, this girl just decided she didn't like it and so she was just gonna not reply to me. Like, all right, like, that's weird. And there was this other instance that happened when I was in high school. <clears throat> so there were like these two boys and they wanted to start like a t-shirt company or whatever. And they wanted me to do like this t-shirt something or whatever for them, right? <clears throat> and they told me that they were going to pay me afterwards. And so like a naive little child, I went and I did this design and I worked really hard on it and I gave it to them. And of course the t-shirt business never even started. They didn't pay me. I never saw any money. I never saw any t-shirts. Like I basically just 
put in a lot of time and effort and stress for literally nothing. So my third tip is to make sure that you are going to get paid. Don't work for free because these people are out here taking advantage of you. They're exploiting you as an artist. Um, since you're an artist, you're working in a field that isn't valued and you need to make sure that when you do work for other people, they are people that value you and value your time and your work and your craft. So don't work for free. That's my third tip. Um, it is my final tip for today. If I think of anything else important, I might make another video in this format, but for now that's all that I have for you guys. And as always, I hope that you liked this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm going to see you all in the next one.